We're going again, guys. And I did one. I had beautiful colors on it, but it just wasn't what I wanted. It's too spindly, stringy, however you want to call it. So that was eye candy. Hmm. Canada? Canada. Canada. Deco White Sea Mist. Make sure I put enough color on. Then we have Artist Loft Halo Blue. Dare I tempt the blow dryer? <laughs> I'm going to. Okay. And we want the African violet in this. Just because it adds so much richness and it blends with the blues really good. All right, there's that one. Or are we looking for centering? This way. That's better. And Caribbean from Eye Candy. Beautiful pigment. Got like glitter in it. Can't help myself and put two scoops. <laughs> and one more color. Oh. Eye candy ocean blue is the one that I was working on. So let's finish it. And I've got three empty containers. That's good. This is a gorgeous color too. And it's empty. And make sure of it, it's empty. <laughs> there. I'm gonna put those in my bucket to soak because I'm not washing them today. Now. this over a bit. Hey, titanium white PBO. Okay, put enough on there, I think. And Amsterdam Payne's Gray. And you'll see me struggle now with the blow dryer. <laughs> I do struggle with it. Okay, here it comes. so bad and I mouth blow the rest just so we can get something going here
actually didn't do too bad. I am impressed I didn't do too bad on the blow, blow dryer. There. Let's see what we get. We got two cores on here, so it's going to be messy. Just scraping it off. I don't like it spinning all over the place because I feel like I'm going to get it in my face. Don't want to go too fast. Because you can see it comes off pretty easy. Wow, it's even pretty centered even. Ooh, I'm excited for this one. Who knew that the bull dryer was going to cooperate with me today? Using up paints. I emptied three containers. I'm happy. My vow is to not mix any paints until I use up paints. Hmm. I'm happy with this. Subtle on the edges. Not crazy busy. Probably still got to spin some more off. Do it this way. A little easier. I do restrain my pillow paint here that I scrape into a bucket and I use it. Because it's the first item that goes down and you don't end up seeing it at the end. And if we don't have to waste it, why not? It works really good. happy at this one. Yeah. Turning out really nice. <laughs> Isn't that the way it goes that your last one is always the nicest out of all the ones that you pour? That happens to me often. Nothing crazy, no spinning real fast or anything. I'm just going gently. Yeah, I am ecstatic over this one. I've done a few of them with blues, but not so many blues but this is how we can use up our paint. Now, one more the other way, I think. You can see it get bigger around the edge of the piece that I'm pouring on. So that means more is still coming off, but look at how it's gotten right to the edge. It's happy. I'm happy. <laughs> Do a happy dance. I've been resining and working on my basement reno. Been busy. I see some bubbles, so let's do a check before we check and bring it up to you. In there.
here. And if you go over them a couple times, the paint fills back in. So the white doesn't show as much is what I have learned to do. And it kind of hides. I'm happy that this has turned out. And the sparkle on this is outrageous. This area here is not so pretty. So we'll just do a squiggle on it to cover it. The little things here and there not much just because it doesn't have anything there um, should we put a heart <laughs> yeah let's do a couple hearts two of them there done I am not taking it off the spinner I'm just going to bring the spinner up to you. If you guys like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate everyone who is joining. Um, these are fun rounds to do. I get these at the Dollar Tree. Sorry, Dollar Rama. And they're, they're a joy to pour on. They're bamboo. I have so much success on these. Uh, do all the good stuff for me. <laughs> Come back and see what we're going to pour next. Everyone take care. Have a great day.